In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a progressive reading bar to the top of your Joomla site. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Get a free site audit for your Joomla site at MySites.Guru. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 235 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel, where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, migrate them, maintain them. So if you are looking to hire someone short term or long term, or even just get yourself out of a spot, drop me an email, tim at cybersalt.com and let's talk. All right, let's turn our attention to the screen and get right to it. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Michael Russell, Hooray! who has pasted the code for doing this on his website. The link is in the description below, together with all the other links that go with this episode. Uh, check it out. It's super easy to do, and we're going to see that right now. All right, I am logged into the back end of a Joomla 4 site. And uh, what we're going to do is, first of all, get ready to add this text. And we're to do that, I'm going to go to Users, Manage, and I'm going to go to My User Profile, and I'm going to change the default editor. Now, I know some of you are going to say, hey, wait a second. Uh, you can use the MCE editor and just allow the scripts from this text that we're going to post in, uh, uh, from, uh, from Michael's page that we're going to post in, but it's not working with tiny MCE. And I know there's lots of other ways to do this, but I just want to show you the simple way that everybody can do it in the core. So I'm going to change my default editor from the tiny MCE to the code mirror editor. We're going to go save and close. All right. The next thing that we want to do is create a new module. So to do that, we're going to go to content and there we go down. There's uh, site modules and hit plus. And now we're going to do a new module of the custom type. Now I already have custom or filtering for cust in the, pro in, the uh, in the filter here. Um, yeah, we want to do custom. Oh, there we go. A custom module where you can just add text or just make something custom yourself. Now, here where we click click on the tab where it says module, this is where we're going to paste this code from Michael's uh, site. So we select the code right down from to the closing script and this opening div. We go here and we paste it right in there. Now, if you're doing this as a super administrator and you have uh, the text filters set to off, um, as is the case in the default Joomla install, you're going to be fine because the editor will not strip out this code because we've just switched to this plain code editor. Next, we're going to give this uh, module a, um, a title. So let's call it uh, reading bar reading progress bar and we have to assign this module to a module position so the text is included in the load it's not going to show up anywhere on the page because this is just all going to be in the background in in the code it's not in the in the content as, as such but uh, let's put it to something like this let's just go let's put it in top michael says to put it as somewhere as uh, towards the top so let's just go down here we'll, we'll, we'll put it in top bar now this status trash is just from when i was clearing out my practice before make sure that it's published and then finally on the menu menu assignment make sure it's published to all pages all right now i'm going to just save this which will leave it open and watch what happens here we have uh the front end of the site it's got a bunch of default uh content in it i'm going to go up here and i'm going to refresh the page and then we will see at the very top, you watch as I scroll down, we will have that reading progress bar. It's white right now, but watch what happens as we scroll down. Blue. And as we work our way across, we see there's progress for where we're getting to the end of the page. Now, a little pro tip here. It's not much of a pro tip, but if we go back to that code, say you don't want blue, say you want something else, you can go to this area here in the CSS that says progress bar, height four pixels, and background color. We can do this here, 
and we're just going to say that's through one of my uh, the oranges from my company's logo fe9900 and look we can even change the height here to something ridiculous let's change it to 14. all right we'll save we'll go up here we will refresh this page and once that reloads and we start to scroll you'll see now it's actually quite thick 14 pixels high. That's how you add a progressive reading bar to the top of your Joomla site. Thank you, Michael. Subscribe to get more videos like this. Enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.